What's up everybody, Alex here. I wanted to give you guys an update on my Trans Am, which is right behind me or here on the wall. After getting home from the track, I noticed that my oil pressure was low. It was about 12 PSI when normally at hot idle, this is at about 18 PSI. It's kind of a loose motor. So I knew right away that something was wrong, but I didn't hear any noises at all, nothing. The car ran perfectly fine. So I thought, you know what, what are the chances I can just change the oil and filter the next day and everything will be back. The oil had like 1500 miles on it. Maybe it was just thinned out from beating on it all day. Well, the chances of that fixing it ended up being zero. And let me show you what I found when I cut open the oil filter. All right, so kind of hard to see. Um, I dumped out the oil filter into a plastic bag, but see all that um, gold looking stuff in there, little flakes. It didn't really look all that bad, but let's face it, any gold flakes in your oil filter is definitely not a good sign and warranted me taking it one step further, which was dropping the oil pan out of the car. So I ripped the trans out and I was able to lower the oil pan out uh, with a little finesse. And let me show you guys what I found in there. And here's what I saw when I dropped the oil pan. I'm not gonna lie, my heart dropped when I saw this. I knocked this all out of the pickup tube so you can see everything. This is where the pickup tube sits. You can see some more bearing material. There are a few items, the blue rubbers from the inside of the valve seal, as well as these little springs. Those are parts of the valve seals also. And I, what I did was I pulled out some springs so I could get to the valve seals and check this out. Completely destroyed. It's like the springs just crushed the seal. And if you look back at the race video and you listen closely, my one to two shift was bouncing the limiter at like 7,200 RPM a few times. And this has been kind of like an ongoing thing lately. Um, so what I believe happened was, I think it floated the valves a little bit. Maybe it was some kind of weird harmonics. It lifted up the valve seal, destroyed it in the spring. And basically what happened then was all the little pieces of that went in the oil pan, it clogged the pickup, which then caused a low oil pressure situation and then destroyed some bearings. As you can see, there were some pretty big, nice shavings of bearing material in there. Um, now I pulled a couple rod caps and main caps and although those bearings didn't look brand new, they didn't have chunks missing out of them, at least like the six that I took out. So I think the cam bearings are messed up. I think they were just right at the point where they didn't spin, but they had shaven some chunks off. Now, again, this is just a theory and we're gonna know soon enough. What am I gonna do going forward? Well, I'm gonna rebuild, of course. It's January in Chicago, not much is going on as far as racing anyway. So my plan is in February is to rip the engine out of the car, investigate a little further, and I'm gonna cross my fingers that I just can do a freshening on this and save my rods and pistons and just have them clean up the block, do all new bearings, put it all back together. I'm gonna do a new cam, I'm gonna do new valve springs, uh, probably a new oil pump just because of what happened. I may not look like it right now, but I was really bummed when this happened. I was hoping to just put the car away for the winter with my new personal best of a 970 at 141, and that ended up not really being the case. Now I got kind of a big project, but I always like to look at the positive things in a situation, and this is gonna give me an opportunity to freshen up the motor that had six years on it at 900 wheel horsepower, about 11,000 miles, which doesn't seem like a ton of miles, but that's a lot of abuse for a relatively inexpensive short block. And also go over financial stuff with you. What does it cost to build this? I get that all the time. How much did you spend on your car? I've had this thing for 13 years and it's gone through so many different setups and that's always the question I get after I'm done man, what did you spend? You got a lot of money into that car, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, for what it does, especially considering the cost of some of these newer cars you'll see, it's relatively inexpensive. So we're gonna go over all of that and I'm gonna try and cover that in a ton of other videos in the future on other builds too, is cost. I hope you guys like the update on the Trans Am. If you haven't seen my other videos, I will leave a couple links in the description below for you to do that. To all my subscribers, thank you so much for checking out my videos. For anyone new, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of car stuff on this channel you may be interested in, now including a build on this car behind me, which should be a lot of fun. So I hope you like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys very shortly, possibly with this thing ripped apart, and we may be talking about some other mods. So stay tuned. Thank you very much, guys.